Hey, what's up you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Marvel's Avengers video and today what I got for you guys here is a breakdown of a ton of news that came out through an AMA with some of the developers working at Crystal Dynamics. We got the confirmation of something that I was really hoping was going to be in Marvel's Avengers as well as the confirmation that photo mode would be in the game and a ton of additional information that we're going to go over in this video. Before we get into everything though, I wanted to ask you guys, of course, if at any point you enjoy this video, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support and I would really appreciate it, so if you enjoy the video at any point, leaving a like rating would be awesome. And if you happen to be new here, well, I'm covering all things Marvel's Avengers, the news, updates, trailers, my reactions, all that stuff you're going to be seeing on this channel, so if you want to know anything about this game, I got you covered. So if you'd like to, you can subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to be immediately notified when a video goes live. And with all that being said, well, let's jump into this. So the folks over at Crystal Dynamics put together once again a Reddit AMA so we can ask our burning questions about Marvel's Avengers, this time having Philippe Therian and Lauren Ash working at Crystal Dynamics answering questions about the game. And through this, they gave us a ton of insight about some things we can come to expect from Marvel's Avengers, which is going to be launching in just one month. There's going to be a link in the description box below if you want to read the entire Reddit AMA. There's quite a bit of insight in there and some stuff that I'm not going to be going over in this video, but I do want to go over a couple of questions that got answered that give us some really intriguing information. Okay, so the first question here comes from Felix W1, and they ask, Will there be seasonal costumes and emotes added when it's Halloween, Christmas, etc.? And Philippe Therian responded saying, We are looking into that. The short answer is yes, but not for everything. So we are making a list of what that is. Some will be revealed when these events happen, however. So you'll have to be patient. This is probably something to be expected, but it's cool to get the official confirmation. I just don't know, again, if emotes are going to be something I am willing to spend any of my money on when it comes to the stuff that will be sold in the in-game marketplace. I wonder though if there will be alternate suits that will be tied to some of these seasonal events like Halloween or Christmas because then that might be something I'd be intrigued in getting. But moving on, our next question here is asked by Moshino1, and they ask, Hi, I was just curious about photo mode and how in-depth it is. I'm an avid supporter of virtual photography, as are many in the growing community. It would be so cool to capture our favorite superheroes in action. And then Lauren Ash responded saying, We've worked to provide the features one would expect from a photo mode in games today. For example, lens control and filters to name a couple features. We're excited to hear your feedback about this feature. Okay, so I'm not sure if I remember when photo mode was confirmed. Maybe it's somewhere else within this Reddit AMA, but nevertheless, photo mode confirmed, which is awesome. And it was also confirmed in this thread that you can use photo mode in online co-op. It's just that it doesn't pause the game the way it would if you're playing solo. And again, I think that's amazing. I also appreciate that they're looking forward to receiving feedback about the photo mode in the game. So they're planning on potentially updating it based on our feedback which is great photo mode is without a doubt one of the most fun things for me to do in games i know that sounds weird in comparison to actually playing the games but i just love creating photos with some of the different options you get available to you in games like spider-man ps4 or more recently in ghost of tsushima which i think is now the gold standard for how photo mode should be in games but okay, up next, we got a question from the user Whiter Than Bleach, hell of a username, and they asked, how often can we expect updates? Not even necessarily content updates, but even bug fixes slash patches in general. And Philippe Therian responded saying, we are finalizing those details, but content will be delivered at varying frequencies. I don't want to promise anything until it's announced, but we have ideas for weekly slash monthly and long-term content drops. We will give you some updates on that soon as it's all final and approved. And before I give my thoughts on this, I wanted to go over one more question that kind of branches off of this one in general, and then I'll give my thoughts on everything. So the next question that branches off here was asked by Carol's J Danvers, and they asked, how often will we see new characters? Once a month or a character a season? What can we expect? And Philippe Therian responded saying that timing is to be announced, but we are trying to make this as fast as possible. We are taking our time to make sure the heroes bring something to the table that is new and fun. So in regards to the first question, I'm glad that they plan to bring us some sort of content weekly or even monthly. I think that that's something that would be really important for Marvel's Avengers to keep that longevity, especially if their plan is for us to keep playing this game for years to come. But I don't think some of the content that they have planned weekly or monthly is going to be anything too big, as he mentioned specifically that they have longer term content content drops planned. So don't expect a major expansion to be dropped every single month. That being said, I'm not entirely sure if Philippe Therian means specifically in the second question when he says that they're trying to make this as fast as possible, that they mean they're trying to release new heroes as fast as possible, or that they're trying to provide us a window of release 
for these heroes as fast as possible. Either way, I'm glad that the folks at Crystal Dynamics are working on a roadmap and hopefully we get to see that soon. Okay, this next question is something that I didn't realize and should have realized is something that I really wanted to know about the game and it was asked here by Cat the Big and they asked, when you collect gear, do you acquire gear for other characters as well as the one you are playing? If so, is the gear more biased towards the character you are playing? Also, do we have a centralized bank for all this gear? And if so, how big? Lauren Ash responds saying, we have a huge inventory vault that can store up to 300 total gear items for all your heroes. Gear is only picked up for the hero you're playing as, so play as each hero to build them up. You can also purchase gear for all your heroes in your roster. And before you freak out, no, she doesn't mean that you can buy gear with your real money. The only things that you can pay for with your real money in Marvel's Avengers is cosmetic items like alternate suits, emotes, and all that stuff. And in regards to the question that was answered here, thank God that there's going to be a vault in Marvel's Avengers. Again, I don't know why I didn't realize this was something I definitely needed to know about for this game. That being said though, only 300 slots in the vault that spread out across the six heroes at launch and maybe even containing the additional heroes that would be added later on, yeah, we're going to have to up that number a little bit. Nevertheless, though, I'm glad at least that there's going to be a vault in the game. And I'm sure if we provide our feedback that 300 is just not enough to have in the vault, then that's something that could be increased. But OK, the last question that I wanted to go over and I saved the best for last because it's the confirmation of something that I was really hoping was going to be in this game. Reaper 2047 asks, will raids be playable at launch? And Philippe Therian responds, the first raid like content we have, I use that word because we have a cooler word for our game is going to be very close to launch, like not months close, weeks close, but we are finalizing the date now. I think we will showcase it in one of our next news beats, so I'm hoping you guys get a preview of it and then get to play it just a few short weeks after. We are also already working on more of them. Hell yes. Raids in Marvel's Avengers. I am all about it. Now, as a Destiny fan, I've been spoiled to the term raids in video games, so I don't want to come to expect that raids in Marvel's Avengers are going to be on that scale. However, if they're anything similar, then I'm all in. There was additional information provided through answers with some other questions asked within the thread in specifically mentioning that raids will be about one to two hours depending on the objectives and how powered you are. And it is a multiplayer only thing. You cannot bring your AI companions into raids. You need to either match make with other people or invite your friends to play through it. Either way, Raids are confirmed for Marvel's Avengers, and I cannot wait to see what they're going to be like. And that wraps up today's video. I now want to kick it to you guys. Let me know your thoughts on all this in the comment section below. What do you think about raids being confirmed for Marvel's Avengers? Photo mode, the vault, all that stuff. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support, and I would really appreciate it. I'm Caboose. And you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel, or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those links are in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment if you have an opinion, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.